When it comes to hard ops, our goal is to get something working right, just working well, being the way it's supposed to be. And then from there, just exponentially adding on to it and attempting to take it to that next level. So array is one of those things. I'll just draw a box, shift it to live, and if we press Q, we can use array v2. Array v2 is a little bit of a uh, story in its own because it's the uh, basically the third version of array that we've created. However, it's a v2 of basically the ST3 series of arrays that we've attempted to add inside of hard ops. And it's gone through a set of trials and tribulations. And even the victory of having 3D and 2D as a way to deal with things compared to the more traditional methods was something that I considered a bit of a victory. However, one of the comments that I received talking about it in the past was, what about tablet users? What about tablets? What about using it on a touch device? And this was a comment that stuck with me. It was something that I pondered for a while and wanted to come up with something um, that would both expand on our, all of our tools going forward, but also allow us to continue on in the same vein of working fast and just doing operations and finishing without having to think about a whole lot of stuff afterwards. Just get in, set up your operation, get your distance in there and close it, you know, is the initial goal with the Ray. However, if we jump over to the later version of Blender, where I can just make a new file, we can begin talking about where Ray is now gone. So, you know, I'll just draw a shape using line box, I guess, and we'll press Q and use Array V2. And you see that Array is pretty much the same as it was just a moment ago when I was showing it. However, if we press Tab, we see that we're able to pause the operation, which is exactly the same as I was just showing, except now we see that there's this dot off on the left. If we click on this dot, this dot will expand into a new type of UI that we're calling dot UI. And inside of here is a plethora of things to make your life a lot easier. For example, double clicking will allow it to show up arrows on screen and you can just click these in order to gracefully move your operation. And that is to not say that you can just click it and it will flash, meaning you can now use numerical input. So numerical input is one of our goals that we've always wanted to try to implement. However, to get something that's both organic for the type of users that we are and also the users that run into us, it is always a uh, balance. So if we hold shift and we scroll, we see that we're able to do fine, fine incremental adjustments. If we hold control, we see that we're able to move something a lot more accelerated. If we click on the one, we can actually set the array to be at a perfect one. And we can even just go back and just begin rolling the wheel in order to begin adjusting it again. At the bottom, you can choose what active access is being adjusted. You can choose how much count is being added to it. You can even flip the current array on the fly just by coming in and tapping this. If you wanted to add a different array, all you have to do is just click the plus. And then from here, you just begin rolling the wheel and you're able to begin adding to this particular array as well. So we've added almost everything that you're normally able to do with hotkeys, but we've tried to make it a button centric workflow for you to be able to click. In fact, even the option of exiting with empty, which is one of my favorites, is able to be done. So you can just click on the exit with empty, click on the X, and now we have two different empties that we're able to move in order to adjust this grid array that we set up. And the interesting thing about empties is that with our empties, if you rotate them, you'll see it adjust the count. So you can even continue adjusting the array even outside of the array. And this is just, the rough broad strokes of this aspect of array. I'll be doing a video going more in depth on it in the future. However, just know for now, if you go into array, you can now press tab, jump over to the dot and begin adjusting things using the dot inside of hard ops array V2. So we'll be seeing this, or this uh, new UI system continuing further throughout hops as time goes on. But for now, it is something that is currently attached to array V2 cloth and the new Aki shape v2 which we'll be talking about next.